Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. So for today, we're going to be planning out the week of September 5th through the 11th and I am using mystery kit 10 today. I am super excited to use this kit. It has a reading theme to it, which I absolutely love because I've been really into reading lately. I have been prioritizing making time for reading right before bed. I've kind of nailed down my evening routine and um, you know, right after putting the kids to bed, I do like a rinse off shower, wash my face and all that good stuff, put on all my creams and all that good stuff. And then I read and I usually get a solid hour of reading in, which has been really, really nice. So I thought that this kit would be perfect. Plus it has some fall like vibes to it. And even though it does not at all feel like fall, where are all of my Arizona people at? You all know my pain probably. Everyone's all about fall, 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 <laughs> talking about fall. And here in Arizona, let me tell you, it is hot still. It is still over 100 degrees and it looks like it's not gonna be cooling off anytime soon but I don't care. <laughs> I'm still using all the fall kits because it's my favorite season and I'm in fall mode even if it's still hotter than heck outside. So it's all good, but today is Friday, September 2nd. So it was the day of new releases. All of the November kits released today, which is super exciting. You all have been loving them, which makes me so happy. It makes me just it makes my heart happy when I see you guys love on the kits and be so excited about them and everything. With every single release, I always get butterflies. I always get a little bit nervous, but you all have always just been so kind and supportive and everything. So I really appreciate it. But lots of fall kits went up um, in the shop today. And my first, well, I guess it's not technically my first. I've had a monochromatic kit kit in the past, but it's more intentional now. Um, every single month I'm going to be releasing a monochromatic kit in a different color. So I'm really excited about that because they are really fun to design. Let me tell you, they are so fun to design. I feel like there's a lot of flexibility with them in terms of like what theme I want to make them and all that kind of stuff. So for November, I chose blue for the color. So it's called All the Blues and it's a monochromatic kit. And I was excited to see that a few of you, your favorite color is blue. Let me put myself on do not disturb real quick. And so, um, you know, you were excited to see the blue kit. So yeah. And then today is also the day of my 36th birthday. So yay. <laughs> I am very grateful for another trip around the sun. We don't have anything super big like planned or anything. It's about 9:50 in the morning now. So I think when I'm done with this voiceover, I'm going to go jump in the shower and I think my sister's going to be coming over and we're going to go to lunch and go to Handel's ice cream and get some ice cream. So that'll be really exciting. My girls made me a really sweet little sign. It's like a handmade sign that I have hanging up in my office. Now it says happy birthday mom and they painted it and stuff. So really, really sweet. Those are my favorite types of gifts are those handmade gifts. And um, so yeah, so kind of a fun day. I'm going to take a half day today for work and yeah, just take the rest of the day off and try to relax and things like that. So yeah, um, I wanted to chat a little bit about the digital plan with me and everything like that because I did get some feedback recently that you guys were wanting more of like a slowed down digital plan with me showing, you know, how the spread comes together in a slower format. And while I would absolutely love to do that, um, I just don't have enough time and let me explain why. So when I do my digital plan with me, when I sit down to do the screen recording and stuff, I'm easily planning for about an hour. It could go a lot quicker, but I am just really picky. I take my time with it. It's kind of my relaxing time. So doing the screen recording and just being able to like lay back on my couch or in my bed and just like sip on some tea while I'm planning and stuff. It's honestly one of my favorite parts of the week. And so it just to film it would kind of take that away and the videos would be really long. And when they're really long, they take forever to edit. So I totally hear you on wanting more tutorials and step by step things. I do have a whole playlist 
um, on my channel with tons of tutorials and then my monthly plan with me is are always slowed down those ones I do slow down and I kind of walk th through things step by step and show some tips and tricks and things like that I am also planning on filming a lot of tutorials once the new weekly formats launch for 2023 for the hub system I'm gonna be sharing a bunch of new one month planners um, fairly soon and Along with that, I want to have some more tutorials and things like that. I also really want to start trying to get some more tips and tricks up in um, Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. It's just something that I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, I've actually been watching videos on how to film, like your filming setup and stuff like that for TikTok videos. Once I get into the groove of it, just like YouTube, like once I started YouTube and started like kind of really getting into the groove, it became second nature to me. But honestly, I feel like I figured out TikTok a bit, but I don't feel like I know a whole ton to like do some like, you know, fancy like like I don't know how to do a voiceover and stuff like that. So just little things like that that I needed to figure out. So that's another thing that I'm going to try to do very soon ish. I don't know if I'm going to have time to like figure that all out in the next few months because honestly it's going to be kind of crazy with other projects, but um, I'm hoping to provide more tips that way. And I'm thinking like every Wednesday I'll have like a, a Wednesday weekly tip or something like that where I show a little tip or trick for digital planning. So that will be coming. I also started my channel well before I launched my business and I started it just to be part of the community and that's what I consider this channel to be. It's like my plugin to the digital planning community and I really enjoy making it more personal. I know it could be all business and stuff like that. and. I just, I feel like I wouldn't enjoy it nearly as much. I love the sense of community. I love connecting with you guys in that way. And it's what I'm used to when I would do like pen and paper planning back in the day, I would kind of give life updates and stuff like that. So if these videos are not your jam, if you don't enjoy watching them and you don't enjoy like hearing me talk about what's going on, feel free to skip them. I promise you I'm not going to be offended in any way, shape or form. I know not everything is for everyone and one of my friends Heather she always told me that you could be like the juiciest tastiest most amazing peach in the entire world and then some people just don't like peaches and that's totally fine so these videos the digital plan with me's are more so for inspiration you can kind of see how the pieces are coming together. I know it's not slowed down or anything, but you can at least see the process and then the end result. I do share my spreads on Instagram too once they're all once they are all filled in, goodness. <laughs> once they're all filled in and everything, um, on every Monday I share my spread, so you can skip this and like wait for that if you want to do that. But um, yeah, I don't foresee me making any changes really to the digital plan with me. Uh, that goes up every Saturday. I just I enjoy the format. I enjoy filming it um, and It's what works for me. So um, I do try to provide as much value as I can in other areas, but I feel like this is just my time to like You know like sip on some coffee It's like sitting down and like chatting with my girlfriends across the the way or something like that You know what I mean? Like it's like my social time and I work from home and so it can get pretty lonely and so venting to you all here on YouTube and like letting you know what's going on, it kind of fills my social cup if you will. I've really had it on my heart lately, like friendships and social, like my social life and stuff that's been on my heart quite a lot lately because honestly like I miss getting together with my girlfriends all the time and I feel like when you have really young kids it's very easy to just kind of and all my friends like for the most part have young kids and when you have kids like it's you're just busy all the time so it's really difficult to get together so you know my girlfriends and I we will get together for a girls night like you know once every six months or so we're just I think starting the process of planning our next get together but I have really been craving community lately like I just find myself feeling pretty lonely these days and you know there's some friendships that like fizzled out that I really miss and 
I don't know. So it's just one of those things. I want to prioritize my social life a little bit more and like get out more. And I talked about this a bit in my recent budget video, um, or was it the budget video? I think it was where, you know, we're prioritizing like getting out into the world more, like going into a store to go grocery shopping and not ordering things on Amazon as much going to a store. And I always make it a goal to like, just say hello to some people, you know, smile at some people. Cause you never know, honestly, something so simple as a smile can really turn someone's day around. And I just miss that human connection. And I know it's been rough the last few years. I feel like, you know, we, we all were impacted by the pandemic and everything that happened. And I think one big, you know, thing that happened was that, you know, everyone went to work from home and then some, some of you are still work from home and working from home is great. I love the flexibility of it and stuff like that, but it is lonely. And I feel like we need that social interaction and to be a part of a community and stuff like that. And that's why I love our planning to prosper community so much. I feel like that has really helped me a ton and just having my YouTube fam here, you guys are here to watch all the videos and stuff like that and commenting and all that, just interacting with you all just really helps quite a bit. But there's something about that face to face social interaction. So we're supposed to start a Bible study group next month at some point, um, once Julia is three. And I'm really excited for that. But then I feel like God's also been placing on my heart for quite some time. And I've brought it up to Andrew and he's like, not about this. <laughs> so I don't know when this will happen, but I feel like God's placing it on my heart to like host Bible study here in our neighborhood at our home because our our group is not in our neighborhood. We have to drive not far, but it's not in our, our neighborhood. And I feel like it'd be really nice to start a group in our home and kind of initiate that and lead that to just bring in our neighbors into our home and to build that community and to just, yeah, help you help each other grow in our faith and everything. So we'll see when and if that happens. I mean, if it were up to me solely, it would happen like now, but I can understand Andrew's hesitance with it because it's, it's a lot to take on, but I also, God has a way of just really like, you know, communicating <laughs> what he wants for me very clearly. And once that message is heard, it's very hard for me to just let it go and be like, okay, well, we'll just wait. Like, I feel like I want to jump on it. Like when he, you know, told me to quit my full-time job for, for example, I feel like from the day that I received that message to the day I quit, a lot of time kind of went by and it was driving me crazy, but I was just so scared of it. And I don't have that same feeling with this. I have more of a feeling of like, this is how I'm going to find my people. Like this is the way to do it. And I, I still want to go to the Bible study group next month and see, you know, um, what it's all about and everything and hopefully connect with some people there. So I'm praying for connections because I don't know. I just think that we've been too stuck in our own bubble and it's time to like get out and see the world. You know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know if you can relate to that at all. But again, you know, having the YouTube channel, the planning to prosper community, that all really helps me as well. And I love updating you guys and kind of letting you know what's going on. I don't so much talk about, you know, what's going on in my spread because you guys can see it on the screen and everything. Um, so I don't really like sit here and say like, oh, this is what we have going on, blah, blah, blah. But it's just, God also just places on my heart sometimes messages that I want to share. Um, in these videos. So I feel like this really helps me with my faith as well in that sense, you know, and I never want to be super like preachy or anything like that, but I am Christian and you know, my faith is really important to me and I try to make the messages that I'm sharing relatable for anyone from any background and stuff like that. So Anyways, um, that is pretty much it for this digital plan with me. I'm gonna go because I need to jump in the shower. I think we're gonna go um, yeah, in a couple hours. So I want to jump in the shower. I, don't, I hate like being rushed when I'm getting ready, you know? So I'm going to go do that and everything, but I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend and a great Labor Day weekend. It's crazy that like it's Labor Day. Like we're hitting like the, the holiday season's here. How crazy is that? I feel like that's insane.
Halloween's coming up. We were just talking about like Halloween costumes. And I'm like, where did this year go? It went by so quick. So, oh, and stay tuned for this upcoming Wednesday. It's the two year planning to prosper shop anniversary. So two years ago on September 7th, I opened Planning to Prosper. I opened up my shop and I want to celebrate with you guys. So more details about that will be coming soon, but I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned for that. And otherwise, thanks so much for watching today. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and you want to see more. And I will chat with y'all later. Bye.